Okay guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Grave Scythe because I don't know why we're not talking about these scythes a lot more. As you can see on screen, the damage output on these things, if you utilize them correctly, are absolutely mental. Now, later on in the next few days, we've got a build coming up for these scythes because they're that bloody good. So make sure you stay tuned for that one. But for today, we're going to show you guys exactly how you can get your hands on it, the statistics behind it, and why you should get it. So these scythes right here, the Grave Scythe. These are a farmable item. You can't just go and obtain it you have to farm for it but it is a very easy farm with a gray site right next to it so it's easy to find these things are absolutely mental and will make for an absolutely amazing amazing death build this thing is cracked out and as you can see on screen we have got 17 strength and 13 dexterity on these for the requirements these work on a very very good level as you can see i've boosted mine up to 24 and this works really well you can also attach your own ash of war on it now this is a very easy farm and if you obviously utilize the right ash of war Farming for do two of these is going to be easy and utilizing them with the Ash of War that you choose is absolutely mad. So we're going to go to this location right here and we are going to head on over down to the graves down here. Now at the bottom of here there are three ads that you guys can get this from. Now there are a few other locations around the map although this has the most amount of ads in them and please remember because they are the skeletons they are undead you have to physically take them out the first time and then you have to re-hit them once they are down because otherwise they just regenerate it would be better if they would drop the loot and then regenerate and then you could just farm them but it doesn't work that way unfortunately so you need to make sure that you make sure that you take out the souls so they don't regenerate the ads again and then we are just going to fast travel back up to this location this is a really really early game you only have had to have taken out the first boss good old margaret and make sure you got through the castle and got through the second boss it is so damn quick it is crazy and these scythes are so underrated it's unbelievable and i don't know why we're not talking about them more these things are just mad and probably one of my favorite weapons at this moment in time and i've had a lot of fun generating the build that we're going to show you guys hopefully over the next day or so so make sure again that you stay tuned for that if you do want to grab hold of this let me know in the comment section if you've got it if you enjoy it and if you're going to be going for it Make sure you reward this video with a beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. It's been an absolute pleasure covering this game and I'm really excited to see where it is that we can go with these builds. We're going for seven builds over seven days, so make sure that you stay tuned because we've got some bangers coming your way. Thanks again for watching guys, I appreciate all your faces. Smash the like button, subscribe, post notifications turned on, and as always, I'll see you in the clouds.